Hey, this is Andrew Brown and welcome to another video. And I actually have an excuse to talk about multi-tools. If you've seen me um, post videos on the socials, not on here, but on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn, you've probably seen me showcase off every time I get a new multi-tool because I get super excited. Uh, and I actually have a good reason to talk about one today because I received this as swag from a cloud service provider. So they've given me good reason to talk about multi-tools and multi-tools actually have a lot in common with cloud service providers. And I wanna talk about that but before we do, let's take a look at this multi-tool and see what it can do. And then after all of that, we'll talk about who actually sent me this multi-tool. So this one is called a Leatherman. Uh, that's the type of a multi-tool or brand it is. And it is all based around pliers. So that's why it looks like this because you can pull it out and you get pliers. And different multi-tools are based around uh, one uh, very specific tool. And so it could be pliers, it could be scissors, it could be a knife, or it could be a certain type of knife, or maybe it's around a saw. Uh, and then all the other ones are packed into it. And um, you, know, you could say this is like the best in class um, uh, service for this tool. And the other ones are generally also really good. And then you have ones that are uh, all, all right, but they're starting to pack them in there um, for convenience. And so, you know, we have pliers here and the other really good ones on this, and they're really good, is we have a knife. So here is our knife. Um, and so it's not broken, it's just serrated, right? And what I really like is that these lock into place. So that is a really cool feature because that way I won't uh, cut myself and that won't collapse down. Not a lot of multi-tools do that. So this, this is really, really nice. At least the ones that I've been getting. And on the other side, we have scissors. And this is interesting because they also lock into place. And the, um, the, the spring is here. Some of them are here and they're not as strong. And so this one is really, really strong. So we have some very strong core tools here and then if we are to open uh, the multi-tool up, okay, in the feet here, these aren't as convenient to get to, but you have your other, <laughs> your other tools here. So we have our bottle opener, our can opener, a metal file, and metal files are actually extremely useful. I wish that this was also a metal saw, but it is not. On the other side, we have a ruler. Uh, it's okay, it's not the best. Um, you know, you want a ruler to be flat and that's not flat whatsoever. And then on the other side, you, and this is very common for tools, is they'll include uh, some screw heads. And uh, you have a flat head and uh, the cross, cross on Phillips. No, this would be Phillips. That would be Robinson. And then there's a name for the square one. I actually personally like uh, square because I find that I use that a lot around my house. Um, and so, you know, when you use power tools, square is really good. But uh, yeah, I didn't get into this one. There might be another model that has it. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't get that one here. But anyway, Leatherman is a really good multi-tool. And so, yeah, I didn't have one based around pliers, so I'm excited to uh, add this to my uh, collection. Uh, but let's talk about the similarities between multi-tools and cloud service providers, because surprisingly, there is a lot in common. And maybe that's the reason why I like using cloud, because of uh, you know, the relation to these things here. So the first thing is versatility, right? So these things are versatile. They are multifunction, but they are packaged as one thing. Uh, and so, you know, when you look at this, uh, multi-tools will have common uh, tools that they always have or almost always have. So this one's pliers. Pliers is kind of um, the outlier, but, uh, you know, scissors, knife, uh, uh, file, a saw, Sometimes corkscrew is a very common one or drill bits, right? Uh, for cloud service providers, you're looking at storage, networking, databases, um, compute, right? And then there's other things that we'll have. Uh, these tools are both efficient and cost saving, right? Because uh, this multi-tool is packed into uh, one. So it's taking up way less space than multiple tools. And if you were to buy quality tools of the, of the same caliber, they would definitely cost a lot more, right? Whereas this cost, uh, you know, it's not as cheap as a single tool, but sometimes it actually is um, a better than, cause like, if, like a really good knife can cost the same thing as this whole thing. So, you know, you have to uh, decide on that, but for the most part, this is going to be uh, more economical and more about saving you 
space. When we're talking about cloud service providers, you are going to generally save more with cloud service providers than the single providers that provide just the database or or these other other uh, specific services. Um, and that's another thing. So another thing is that when we're talking about space, like think about your um, having a data center on-prem, right? That is a lot of room. Uh, now you're saving a lot of room because that is now at the cloud service provider. It's still there, but the point is, is that you're saving space. That is my stretch to try to make that related there. Um, these things are super flexible. Um, even though, you know, these are uh, base tools, there is a lot that you can do on the go with these. Uh, like I've seen people drill holes with corkscrews or to use it to pick up logs. Um, I've seen people use metal files to, um, or metal saws to uh, create arrowheads. Um, there are clever ways to pick up uh, cans off of fires. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with these things. And the same thing with cloud service providers. They have a lot of tools that can be used also in conjunction to do things that you wouldn't normally think that were easy to do. Um, and uh, I think that is one of the best things. And the last one I want to talk about is innovation because these multi-tools are always evolving. They're always uh, tweaking the designs, uh, making them better and adding new tools and sometimes removing new tools. And the same thing goes for cloud service providers. They'll create new, they'll create, uh, new services uh, and, some, and the services will get better or they'll just change or sometimes they'll get uh, rid of other ones and sometimes they come back in uh, different forms. So yeah, there is a lot of relation there. So maybe I've sold you on multi-tools. I think they're really uh, worth owning. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing came from uh, Google, right? So it came from Google. Uh, and I think it's just a coincidence that uh, they were uh, smart enough to choose this because I don't think they knew that I really like multi-tools. I don't think it was like targeted and saying, we're gonna give Andrew multi-tools so he talks about this. I think it was just um, somebody over Google really likes multi-tools and they thought uh, everyone should get a multi-tool and they put it in the swag box. But for me, it is especially a great thing. It's probably the best piece of swag I've ever gotten. I usually do not like swag. I usually complain about swag, but uh, I don't know. Google always seems to uh, really uh, surprise me there. But yeah, I bet you didn't think there was that much to, um, uh, to do with multi-tools in cloud. So hopefully that was fun here today. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.